Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I'm going to talk about the past perfect tense. It's a very interesting tense and it's something that makes your language beautiful. So let's get started. The past perfect tense is used to talk about something that happened before something else. It means that when there are two actions that have been completed, one followed by the other, we use the past perfect tense. In other words, you can say that when there are two completed actions, the first action is represented by the past perfect. The second action or the latter action is showed by the simple past. So it's a combination of the past perfect and the simple past. So let's look at the structure. Let's see how it is formed. The past perfect is formed by using the subject with had plus the past participle form of the verb. Past participle form of the verb is the third form of the verb. For example, you have eat. Eat is a verb in the present form. It. It is a verb in the past form. And eaten is the past participle form of the verb. So, in this past perfect tense, we always use only the past participle form. So, subject plus had plus past participle form of the verb in combination with subject plus the past form of the verb. So, past form of the verb is nothing but the second form of the verb. So, this is the combination in past perfect tense. We also have the negative form where we use subject plus hadn't plus past participle form followed by of course the subject plus past form of the verb. You also have question form or the interrogative form where you ask questions with had plus subject plus the past participle form of the verb followed by the simple past form. So let's look at some examples to see how exactly it is used. I'm sure you will enjoy learning this tense. The first example, the train had left before I reached the station. Now, when you show an action with had and past participle, it indicates the first of the two actions. Or you can say it indicates the earlier action. And the next action which is shown in the simple past is the latter action. Now, let's look at, let's look at how this works. The train had left is the earlier action. So it happened first and it was followed by the next action before I reached the station. That means the train went away. Before I could reach the station, the train had already left. So we use this tense many times in our day-to-day -day life. So it's an interesting tense which you can practice in order to use in your daily communication. The children had gone to bed before father returned home. That means the children had gone to bed is the earlier action and father returned from office or father returned home is the latter action. First is children had gone to bed because you're showing it by using had plus the past participle form of the verb and the second action is shown just by using the past form. So this is yet another example. The thief had escaped before the police arrived. The thief had escaped is the first of the two actions. It's the earlier of the two actions. And the police arrived is the latter action. It happened next. The next example, after we had finished the meal, the waiter brought us the bill. Suppose you went to the, went to a restaurant, you visited a restaurant. After we had finished the meal, the waiter brought us the bill. We had finished the meal is the earlier of the two actions and the waiter brought us the bill is the latter action or the next action. Now let's go to the next example. The patient had died before the, before the doctor came. The patient had died before the doctor came. 
Now, can you guess what the earlier action was? The earlier action here is the patient had died because we are showing it with had and past participle. And the doctor came is the latter action. When we reached school, the school, the bell had already rung. The school bell had already rung. Ring, rang, rung. That's the past participle form. So here you can see that when we reached school is not the earlier action, but it is the latter action because here we are using the past form. The bell had already rung. The bell had already rung. That means the bell had rung happens to be the earlier of the two actions. The bell rang first and then we reached school. So we were obviously very late. I had live in, lived in Delhi before I moved to Mumbai. I had lived in Delhi. This is the earlier of the two actions. Before I moved to Mumbai is the latter action. That means first I lived, I had lived in Delhi. After that, I, ha I moved to Mumbai, which is the latter action. Now, let's go to the next example. He left our office after he had completed the day's work. He left office after he had completed the day's work. So he had completed the day's work is the earlier action because it's, you can see this had plus past participle form. And the next action is he left office. He left office after he had completed the day's work. Now we shall now look at some examples in the negative form. That's also very interesting. He was very tired. He was very tired because he hadn't slept well the previous night. He had not slept well is the earlier action and he was very tired is the result of the action. So here also you have the earlier action which was not done and the next one which is the result of the first action. And the next one, the next example, they lost the game because they hadn't practiced enough. They lost the game is the result. And why did this happen? It happened because they hadn't practiced well. Such a nice sentence. Now let's look at the next example. The maid hadn't come for two days. So the house was dirty. Who is a maid? Maid is a servant who works in a house. So the maid hadn't come for two days, so the house was dirty. What was the result? The house was dirty. And the maid hadn't come is the earlier of the two actions. Now let's go to the next example. I hadn't prepared well, so I didn't do the exam well. What's the earlier of the two actions? I hadn't prepared well, so what was the result? I didn't do the exam well. This is in past tense. Now. We shall look at the last example here. I hadn't spoken to her in a long time, so I called her. I hadn't spoken to her is the earlier of the two actions. Uh, so I called her is the latter action or the step that I took later. Now we shall go to the question forms. We ask questions with had plus subject plus the past participle form of the verb. Let's look at some examples. Had mother cooked before the children came home? Had the bus left before you reached the bus stop? Had you taken an appointment before you saw the doctor? Had the movie started when you reached the theater? Had the shops closed before you reached the market? Had the party started before you got there? So look at all these questions. Of course, we don't use the questions as often as we use the affirmative forms and the negative forms. So learn this interrogative forms, but at the same time, remember, it's not very natural to make questions in past perfect as natural as the affirmative forms and the, inter and the negative forms. So I'm sure it was an interesting spoken English video on the past perfect tense, its uses in the affirmative form, negative form, and the interrogative form. Hope you 
liked the video and if you liked the video do like share and subscribe to our video lessons thank you so much for watching goodbye